Welcome to iPhone New Zealand, Joe with Dan, and I'm just going to give you a quick demo of how to update your APN settings if you're on iOS 5 Beta 7. So, currently in Beta 7, as you'll be able to see just here, um, the mobile data network has disappeared. It was there just now because it had a Vodafone SIM card in it. This is for 2 degrees in Telecom. If you're on Vodafone, then it is still there and you can go ahead and change it, but uh, on Telecom and 2 degrees, you can't. And what this means is if you want to go into a message and um, send a message as you can see here the buttons actually greyed out and you can't send an MMS message um, for some reason data does seem to be working um, oh no, there you go you get this error here so um, what you're going to want to do if you have lost your settings um, is you're going to need to get yourself a uh, Vodafone um, micro sim or cut down sim card okay and you're going to need to go ahead take your two degrees or telecom sim card out now for me it does seem to be working for telecom automatically but I still don't get the option to change my APN details um, which is fine because it works so pop your Vodafone sim card in and you'll see there that will search and that will find uh, Vodafone and whilst it's doing that, there you go, it's found Vodafone now. And now that it's found Vodafone, the mobile data network is back again and you can go in and, and uh, see the APN settings. So now, now you're going to want to um, go ahead and, and um, update these. And to do that, all you do is you stay in this mobile data screen, pop your, your SIM card out, and put your, um, your 2 degrees or Telecom 1 back in. Sorry, it's a bit difficult one handed. Pop that back in there and it will say no sim for a minute, no service, and then it will do searching and then it will find your two degrees network. So once it finds the network, <coughs> um, well, you don't have to wait till it finds the network, you then need to. Um, go into the iPhone New Zealand app that we've got on the store if you haven't downloaded it already you'll need to connect to Wi-Fi to download this um, so you go ahead and download it and install it and start that up okay when you start up you're coming to here and it and if you try and use the, um, the network it'll either come up with an error or say no network connection so what you need to do is go to more okay and then under more you'll have Enzo carriers, click on that, press start here, and go down and choose your carrier. There's a number of them there. Okay, if you go and choose this one here, I've got two degrees. Read through and go into the settings, and then you see you actually got your, your settings here. Okay, so you can also find these online, so you don't have to download the app, um, but it does make it easier. You could you can then just copy and paste the details that you need into your settings okay so the APN is internet uh, your MMS is MMS and it's things like this here that you're going to want to probably copy and paste so um, we copy that across and then you double tap go into settings okay And then you can put, start putting your, your information in. That's done that, yep. Okay, and then you're going to want to go back into the app. And you're going to want to grab that. As I say, you can get these from online and just go ahead and enter them manually. Okay, and you'll also notice that tethering options disappeared, but that's okay. So once you've done that, you're then going to want to go and test it, okay, just to make sure it works before you come out of that menu, because once you're out, you, you won't get it back without putting your SIM card back in. And as you can see here now, I can now uh, take a photo or choose existing, okay, and we can go in. We can go and grab a picture, hit choose, and then hit send. And you'll 
you'll see that that will send through in just a second. Whilst that's taking its time to send, we'll go and check on the internet, which didn't work just now, and you'll see that now loads up. And you just heard the sound there of the uh, the MMS being sent. Okay, and there's that loading as well. And if we go into the app, okay, and go back to the home screen of the app, you can see it now says release to refresh, and that will load, and that will refresh that. Okay, so back into settings, and you're still in this screen. If you go back out of network. You'll see that the menu's gone, you can't get back into it, there's no way of getting into it. So to do this, as I say, you do need to um, have a Vodafone micro SIM or cut down SIM to pop into your phone so you can access the data menu. Once you can access it um, and you've got it on the screen, you can then put your other SIM card in and away you go. Okay, now um, for some reason the two degrees ones don't stick, um, or they haven't been sticking for me. The telecom ones, however, do. And if I just pop my telecom sim into there, wait for that to come up. Searching and as I say, in um, that's coming up now. In utilities, it still doesn't have the uh, the, the data network. Um, but if I go into this and hit refresh, that will refresh through and that will work fine. like so, um, I can go into messages, I can use the messages, okay, and um, I showed you in there that will update as well, and the other thing this has, I was having a look at is personal hotspot. So I'm not sure if personal hotspot is going to work here. Um, I haven't actually uh, tried that at all. And at the moment, I'm just getting a spinning wheel. So it's possible that personal hotspot won't work. I won't wait to uh, to see if it works. What I'll do is I'll leave a comment on the site to uh, uh, and let you know whether or not that comes right um, for me. Um, but as I say, for some reason telecom seems to be working and seems to hold those settings. Two degrees doesn't, and obviously to be able to get into those settings you're going to need a Vodafone SIM card, pop it in and away you go. Thanks very much.